Hi, I'm Nico Price. This is me and my design team's project, Improving Summertime Fun. Our product name is the Amazing Aqua Baseball Launcher. And me and my team, myself, Cameron Hart, Josh Hennig, and Chase Harker. The opportunity that we realized during the project learning of this project was to enhance the backyard experience for kids by combining a widely loved sport with the refreshing addition of water. So when coming up for our concept for our design, we create our, like, our needs list. And so we start with our basic needs of safety and compatibility. So it can connect to any garden hose, so it works almost any house you come to. Most houses have common garden hoses. Um, and it also launches the ball at a safe velocity, so no one's gonna get injured by it, and you can pretty much have fun with any age group. Uh, next we go to our performance, functionality, and durability. It's user-friendly, very easy to figure out how to use, and very easy to like maneuver or do anything you want. It delivers the ball to the user around 15 feet every time, so it's not too far or too short, so the reaction time is very consistent, um, so anyone can hit it pretty easily. It disperses water so it doesn't create a puddle while you're playing with it and it keeps your lawn nice looking good. And then the uh, excitement factor, it sprays water uh, every time you use it. So you like, if it's a hot day, you're getting water and you're staying cool. Um, it adds a degree of difficulty if you want it by like changing the angle. You can make it a little bit harder, a little bit easier if, like, if you're varying the age group. Um, and it keeps out keeps kids outside away from like video games or TV during nice days in the summer So this is our final prototype and how it works is we have our foot pedal here Which attaches to any hose on both ends this side will attach directly to your garden hose And then on this end hooks directly to the rest of our assembly with our barrel how this works is we've taken the handle valve off of a garden hose attachment and bolted it to a piece of wood that we have hinged on one side to create the foot pedal action so that when you step on it, it releases the water that can shoot the ball. And our balls here, we have little foam balls with the holes drilled into them, as you can see here. And this adds a little bit extra pressure to get the ball to fly through the air more consistently. So here's our barrel assembly and our base. It is very easily loaded, as you can see, through this door with, that is hinged on our barrel. The ball simply slides over the nozzle inside, and then you're ready to go. You just shut the door, and it's ready to go. Also, it is easily adjusted as a, for the angle, as this bolt simply slides out and can be placed in any of these other holes, giving you different angle settings, so it can go on it straight up or shot angled at you to make the difficulty a little harder. So here we have our barrel assembly, which is made from basic PVC piping. Um, our nozzle is connected to our garden hose, which is fed through the cap in the PVC through this hole, and it is held in place using these two zip ties. We also have extra holes drilled in the bottom of our base to reduce any unwanted buildup inside the barrel. So as you see here, you see a common spigot on the end of a building, and that's where you would hook your hose and the hose would connect to the end of the foot pedal that we have created and the foot pedal connects to the base of our design which is where you would load the ball and it would fire like that so a quick demonstration of loading the ball is you'd open up the little hatch put the hole of the ball onto the nozzle close the lid and then put in the uh, bolts uh, secure the uh, barrel and then you're ready to go so this is us uh, using our toy in action yep. oh. Foul ball. Oh, did we lose it? Get over. Get over. Get over. Get over. 
He's out. <laughs> yep. Oh. There we go. So, uh, how do you like our product? It's awesome. It's a lot of fun. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Do you think other people would like to play with this toy? I sure hope so. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. So, after testing our design, we could evaluate the strengths and weaknesses of our design. So. A strength is that it launches the ball very accurately and consistently, so it's it's always easy to hit. And uh, the user input, the the pedal is it's very easy to use. There's there's no difficulty in hitting the pedal and then trying to hit the ball. It all it's all a smooth process. And the uh, another strength is that the launch angle is very easily adjustable. It's so it adds different degrees of di difficulty to hitting the ball. And uh, with our foot pedal, it can be moved around, so you could use this product by yourself or you can use it with friends. And uh, with the balls, they're, they're styrofoam material and they don't absorb water, so as you use them for an extended period of time, they're not going to absorb water and become too heavy to launch. And uh, when we were testing this project, we were out there, and it's, this is very fun to use, and we had fun with it. With further use of our first prototype, we pinned down some of the weaknesses of our design. The first one is that although the changing of our launch angle and the loading of the ball into the barrel are easy, they are slightly tedious with the removal of the pins and the opening of the uh, barrel barrier. And this will add to some of the time when kids are playing with our product. Also, uh, when we were using our product for the first time, after 20 uses, our pedal snapped off on the bottom. And we fixed this by taking off the excess part of the pedal that it snapped off, so now it is more durable. But if we had more time and more resources, we would pay attention to increasing the durability of the pedal. Uh, and our last weakness that we pinned down uh, was that the base material could be more water resistant. What we used uh, was wood, and wood with the absorption of water does rot over time, and considering it's a water toy, that could be a problem. What we would use instead as a replacement material uh, would probably be plastic. What we learned during the design of our product is that there is a lot more that goes behind the whole design process than just the production of the actual prototype itself. It takes the consideration of the needs of our customers who are actually buying the product to create a great product that will be great selling on the market. Also, sometimes it only takes the addition of one good idea to a very simple concept to create a great product. We think that our prototype embodies this very concept.